Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of the Fibble Puzzle. This is Wordle, but with liars. So there's one liar in each row. Maybe that S shouldn't be grey, maybe the O shouldn't be yellow, who knows? The only way to find out is to play, and it's auto-populated that first guess. So that at least gives us a starting point. I'm going to try Frock. I'll keep the O and the K in position to see what we can learn. Oh, we've le not learned anything. So maybe one of the other letters is lying, or maybe the O is lying on both rows, or maybe the K is lying on both rows. Who knows? Um, I'm going to try Cloak now instead. I'm going to try to keep the O and the K again. Right. I think it's quite likely that the K is lying in both positions. So that means there's no C, which means that the C is lying here. So all we've learned so far is that there's an O. Maybe that wasn't the best use of a couple of guesses. Um, let's try a depot. Keeps the O in a new position and it lets us try some other letters. Oh, that's really not helped at all. Let's assume that there's an E. In fact, let's assume that there's a D and that that's the liar, because then I can try doing. Oh. Now. That is interesting. So if the D was the liar here, it's also the liar here, which is pretty unlikely because I don't know what this word would be with the O and the I in those two positions. So the other option is maybe the E is lying here and the I is lying here, so maybe we've got an E but not an I. I think that's more likely. So let's try movie, because of course the I could be lying and it could be yellow instead of green. Well, what has that told us? I cannot imagine that the E... I suppose the I still could be lying, because the E could be fourth. I was going to say maybe the I is lying and it's actually green, but I think it's more likely that we just don't have an I. So that means we've got blank O, blank E, blank... But we are really running out of letters. Boxy? That's not a word, is it? If one of my other assumptions is not wrong, then we have to just use the most horrible set of letters. So I feel like that means that some of my other assumptions were wrong, which is a bit of a disaster. Okay, so maybe the E wasn't lying up here. So if that's the case, the E is lying here. But again, that just means we've got blank OI. I suppose we could use the P or the T from this row, because again, we haven't actually worked out what the liar is, if we're assuming the OI is correct. And we could use the N or the G, R, so it could be N and T at the end. Those two could be the liars, so it could be joint. Oh, I'm so happy with the way I worked that out. But that was a really difficult one. I kept lying about the letter that I was not expecting it to be lying about. And also, it didn't help that I just tried three words for almost the same at the start, purely to rule out a K. That was a bit foolish. I should have just assumed there was no K. But as you saw, there turned out to be a J instead, so you can't always ignore the less common letters. So that was six guesses. The top row obviously doesn't count, as I said, it auto-populated it. So that's definitely not my best, but also far from my worst. So I'll take it. That's the Fibble Puzzle. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.